loves, what is up? How y'all all doing today? Hope you're all having a great day. And you know what I always say, honey, if you're not having a great day, well, you better get it together. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time ever clicking on one of my videos for a lovely mod review. Now, I have been so excited to do another world overview with you guys because I just love worlds like i feel like i have an obsessive amount of worlds in my game i love changing it up i love trying new things and i also love helping you guys and um i've noticed that lately i've been doing a lot of giant world overviews like all the worlds that i've kind of overviewed have been very very um super extremely detailed and very big and i feel like way back when when i did not have the best computer available so the world that I'm actually going to be reviewing in this video is called Mariner's Reach. And this world is very interesting because I feel like it is very friendly towards people that do not have the best computer setup or the best computer software. If you're playing at The Sims 3 from your laptop, this would be the perfect world for you because you'll be able to download a world that is very small and that probably won't cause you as many lag issues as downloading a huge world such as Cetra or SimLow Isles. So I personally love this world even in this computer that I have now because it runs like freaking butter, okay? And I am in love with the format of this world. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys everything that this world has to offer per my usual world overviews. This might be a shorter video, obviously, because it's a very smaller world, but I am so freaking excited to get into taking a look at this world, exploring it with you guys, and having a lot of fun. Also, down below, there will be a how-to to download mods video so that you guys can know exactly how to download worlds if you've never done it before. There will also be a link to this world as well. Okay, so this world was actually created by Johnny WR on the Sims 3 World Catalog. As I said, I will have that linked down below. They did such an amazing job and I am just so shook at how beautiful this freaking world is. So let's go ahead and get on into the fun part. So this spot is very, very beautiful. And one thing I will say about this world is that I feel like if you have a pretty good computer and if you're like, I don't really need a small world, this world is actually very, very good for vacation spots. I have used it for a vacation spot as well. And I personally feel like it's not really the world to build a family in one reason being that there is no school in this lot yes so if you are planning to have kids in your family you'll probably have to add in the school yourself um, but I personally never have used this world for a big family I usually use it if like there's two sisters living together or a husband and a wife but they don't have any kids you know things like that um, or I use it as a vacation spot as well I used to in my old current households bring them to this lot a lot because I can never just, you know, be calm and be collected. All right. I always got to be extra. But anyways, so let's go ahead and we are going to do like we do in my normal videos where we review two public lots and two residential lots. We I'm actually might be able to review all the residential lots since there is not a lot of like stuff to really show. So we may be able to review a couple of more, but let's go ahead and get on into the fun part. So right now I'm actually going to show you guys the house that I have my sim currently living in, which is this beautiful, beautiful apartment. Like, can we just talk about the view and how beautiful this apartment is? Now, I love a world with a bunch of trees, with a bunch of life, and I feel like this world has a lot of life and a lot of trees. Now, I do not have a lighting mod in my game. I actually took it out because I was like, eh, I feel like the lighting mod wasn't really doing this world justice. I feel like it actually looks better without a lighting mod in your game. But this is what it looks like, and it is so beautiful you guys so if we go into the um, inside which as I said one of the biggest things that I noticed with this world is that the exterior of the homes and the apartments and the buildings are so beautiful and well detailed and uh, one of the best exterior builders in the world love it um at least that i've seen so far with people building worlds i think they are top tier with exterior builds but um anyways so let's just go ahead and go through the apartment now i don't know if we'll be able to view the whole aspect of the apartment but uh this is our 
inside of our apartment. Um, now, I'm not too crazy on the furnishing style. Um, I will say that it kind of fits with the theme of the world. It's very vacation-y and very like beachside resort, um, which is very cute. But I don't know. I don't feel like personally I would have um, my sim live in this apartment. I actually would, but I would probably just renovate it a little bit. I think it's the beds that are throwing me off. Not a huge fan of the bed, but everything else, like the kitchen is really cute. I love the kitchen. It would look even cuter if there was a rug in the middle. Listen, <laughs> I'm being too picky, but I really do like the interior as well. Just not a big fan of the bed pattern, okay? Just say it. Um, so then if we go down to the bottom floor of the apartments, there is actually a very, very beautiful lobby area, which is interesting because I feel like apartments of The Sims 3, they're usually kind of like bland when it comes to the apartment area, like the lounge area for the apartments. It's usually very bland and like bleh, but I feel like this looks really nice. I love the fact that there's a bar. Um, I love the fact that there's a jacuzzi, there's a laundry facility. I definitely would add like a couple of laundry baskets, but other than that, I really like the fact that there's like life going on in here. It's not just a plain empty room and then you just kind of go up to the elevator. I really, really like that. So, um, also, on to a couple of other things, which we are going to take a look at. Let me go ahead and close this apartment here. I kind of want to look at the houses near us. Now, I will say, I don't know if this is a house, but it is very, very beautiful. I feel like this isn't a house. What is this? Because it's really cool. It's just a regular community lot. <laughs> just a regular community lot just hanging out. Uh, is, am I able to open it? Because that would be great. I just want to see what's in here because I love the exterior. Oh, nothing. Hmm, that's interesting. So I guess, or if we go downstairs, is there anything? No, it's just blank. Huh. Well, inside there is some seating. There is um, a little uh, dart thing. <laughs> dart thing. But I feel like it'd be really interesting if you could go in. I probably would go in and decorate this area. Um, it would actually be a very, very beautiful place to have a wedding reception or a wedding in general. So I would probably make this like a wedding spot. But there is a lot of cute things here. As you can see, there is um, a couple of, ooh, we have like a garden. That's really nice. And we're actually able to harvest. So we have some Cherimola grape vines. And I'm guessing that this these are all based off of um, being able to make your own wine. And there's a lot of or tomatoes. I was about to say cherries. A lot of tomatoes. Ooh, this is so cool. What is a flame fruit bush? What the heck? I have been playing The Sims 3 for years and I've never heard of the flame fruit bush. Is this new? Or is this like something that you get from being a high level in gardening? I have no clue, but I'm going to have her actually come over here and grab these because I've never seen these before. Anybody in the comments know how the heck you get a flame bush? Because I have never heard of that. I want to see what the fruit looks like. That's so interesting. I've literally never, 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 never seen this. So anyways, this is very pretty. I love the garden area. I just think it's really cute and it would be, and it'd be really cool if your sim kind of lived in this area because then they could just kind of come over here and garden. And actually it's a great way to make money because you could actually sell this stuff um, and then just harvest from the lot and do that kind of stuff. So I feel like this would be a very good town to do a challenge in, maybe not any family themed challenge, but you know, a challenge where you're like broke and then you have to make your way up. Um, this would be a great world to do that. But Anyways, let's go ahead and close this lot up. And what is this? I feel like this is a house, but I don't want to view this house because I kind of want to explore the other side of the world. Ooh, and it looks like there's already somebody just walking around. Okay, so let's check out. Ooh, all these houses are so pretty. Look at this. Look at the view. Look at that boat. Oh, you guys, the freaking view. Hold on. I want to look at this house because I really like the exterior of this one. Um, so we're actually going to take a quick look. I know there's people living here, but who cares? All right. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Oh, wow. Huh. Okay. I will give this person credit. I'm not a huge fan of like the interior design, um, but I feel like it does fit with the vibe of the world. I really like the fact that, and I think I pointed this out in my last video of Simlao Isles, the most, 
I would say the biggest thing that I look for in regards to worlds is the fact that if it is very different, like if each house in the interior is decorated differently, something about that to me is like very nice. I don't know. It's the little things. And that's one thing that I look for when I get worlds. I'm like, dang, this looks really good because I feel like in real life, houses are different. You know, they're unique. Everybody's house has different furnishings. Everybody's house is different. And I feel like in that way, it kind of adds to the realism. So if I see a world where the houses are different, I don't know, I'm just like, dang, they put in all this effort and made every single house look unique and different and have its own character. And I don't know, It's I like that because I feel like whenever I am playing in a certain world where the houses look the same, if I'm like going to visit a friend, I'm like, is this my house? <laughs> like, girl, like, did, did you just copy all my furniture? Like, what's going on? But anyways, I really like this. I think it's really, really cute. Um, I really like the, like, I don't know. I, I, it's cute, like the, the idea of everything, like the way it's set up. I really do like the setup. Not too crazy on the color choices, but other than that, the setup's cute, okay? It's cute, she cute. So let's go ahead and close this because we are not gonna look at this one anymore. I really like the outside of this one though, and I love the way that this house sits. I don't know, it's so random, but I, I love the view. Like this would be so cute if your sim was a photographer and they wanted to take photos. This would be a perfect town to do that in as well because oh, it would be so pretty. All right, so I kind of want to take a look at the Silver Falls. What is that? Oh, this is nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. <laughs> it's been a while since I have really like delved into this world because I played it like a while ago. Oh, and also there is the stuff from World Adventures where you could actually practice martial arts and you could do the same thing here. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I have kind of explored this world, so that's why I'm acting all shook. But anyways, I really love this. Like, love, 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 love this. As I said, if your sim is a photographer, even if you are a simmer and you like to take photos, this would be the perfect world to take photos in because, oh my gosh, I might actually make this the world that I take photos in for my thumbnails because this world is beautiful. Like, could you imagine two sims by this area that would make such a fantastic photo okay i'm sorry i'm getting distracted anyways so i wanted to take a look at like one or two more houses and this one actually caught my eye because it has the white top um this is very different from the rest of the houses you can see that the other ones are very like beachside resort i feel like this one is very bougie and rich um I think this is the front of the house. That's really strange how the pool's at the front of the house, but um, very interesting. I feel like if you have a pool at the front of your house, you are way too rich, <laughs> way too rich, girl. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and go through and look at this house. Now this one, the furnishing is bomb. I gotta say, I really do like the furnishing. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is giving me like, Khloe Kardashian rich girl. Like this is giving me bougie vibes all the way. I love this. The bathroom, you guys. Oh, my Sim's gonna take some very sexy selfies in this freaking bathroom. Cause oh my God, I love, this is so random. <laughs> I'm literally like freaking out over a Sim's bathroom. I don't know what it is about this bathroom, but I freaking love it. Am I crazy or is this bathroom look beautiful? Like, it's very vibrant. I love the color scheme. Girl, girl, you gonna see my Sim taking a lot of bathroom pics in this bathroom because I love this. And I also really, really love the, uh, the living room area and the bar. I feel like this would be really nice for a reality TV show kind of um, let's play. This would be very beautiful. So I really love this house. Oh my God, I'm fangirling so hard. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm saying I feel like this town is not really for kids necessarily um, It's not very kid-friendly, especially since there's no school So I don't know why these houses have kids stuff in there if there's no school <laughs> I, I don't get it, but whatever so I guess you could always add in the school yourself. It's not something that's you know hard to do so um, anyways So I want to view one more house Let's do, I was going to do a smaller one, but I kind of want to look at what this one looks like, honestly. Ooh, very nice exterior. Very beautiful. Okay, 
let's go ahead and open this one. Uh, and let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Ooh, I like this house too. It's very dark and mysterious. I really like this one. I love the way that uh, it's set up as well. And the, oh my God, the kitchen. The kitchen is so cute. I know it's very, you guys are going to be like, the kitchen's basic. I really like it. I really like how the black and white is together. Because I feel like if I did this, it would look a hot mess. But I really, really like this. Um, and then the living room area is really nice too. I don't know what it is about these couches in The Sims 3, but not a fan. They remind me of like Minecraft couches. I don't know why. But um, in this, it actually works. And I like the way that it looks, which is odd for me because I freaking hate these couches. <laughs> I hate these couches with a burning passion. That's why you'd ever see me use them because I'm, I hate the couches. They look like couches from Habbo. I, I cannot. I don't. Not a fan, <laughs> but it looks very, very cute in this house, and it kind of makes me want to use the couch, but I won't, B but you bet I won't, um, but anyways, very cute, I really like this, and also, let me see if there's a downstairs, because there was stairs going down here, I guess not, I guess it's just a blank space, but that'd be a really cute space to put like a gym or something, or maybe like a man cave, um, but let me go ahead and close this. And now let's take a look at the public lot. So I do want to take a quick look at the beach only because I feel like the beach is the big deal because we have two of them. Um, it is kind of, you know, it's nothing really crazy, but the view, oh, that view of all the trees and stuff. I love a good tree. <laughs> we love a good tree. All right. I love the scenery. So as you can see, this lot has three dance clubs, which as I said, very vacation-y. We have the green room, which is a lounge. We also have a little consignment store, the nectary bar, and a tavern. And then there's also a bathing pool. Now, I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, oh my gosh. What is this? What? Is this a pool? Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my God. This is so cool. How the heck? Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is this is totally a vacation spot because this is cool. Come on, Sim, hurry the hell up. <laughs> I want you to try out this bathing pool. I'm really shook over this. Oh, this is so pretty. There's gonna be some really great pictures in the future. This is definitely my favorite part of this world, 100%. I don't even think what I played in this world that I even knew this was here. That's so sad because I do not remember this at all. Hold up, y'all. I gotta take a photo, sorry. I know, but she's like looking out. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. She's like looking out into the, to the abyss. <laughs> so cute I love this okay but if you put your sim on in some cute swimsuits and like have them kind of stand here and just pose or whatever it'd be make for a very cute picture uh, okay but anyways so that is very cool now I'm gonna check out the t -t -t the green room I kind of want to see what that's like so next I wanted to take a peek at the green room lounge and it is actually green like they weren't kidding about it being a green room because everything in here is green. Green is like my least favorite color, but I think it looks very, very nice here. Um, I really like the way that they use different patterns and stuff. I don't know. I mean, as I said, I told you guys I'm not too crazy about the furnishing in this world, but I really like this. I really like the green, um, not even the furnishing, I would say, just the color choices. <laughs> The color mixing, I feel the pattern and color mixing has just been like, whoa, girl. But I really like this a lot. Like, it, it's very interesting and unique, and I think that's what I like about it. Um, but I'm a huge fan of this. I think it's very cute. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and close this lot. And we are going to check out, ooh. Oh, wow, this is pretty. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cool. I never even noticed this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so really love this. Oh my God, you guys. Look, if you come in here and then you flip around, girl, look at that view. Iconic. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this lot because I want to see the tea. 
All right, I feel like I'm acting like I've never seen this stuff before, and I probably have because, as I said, I've used this world, um, but it's been a while, so I don't know. I don't really remember seeing all this, but, you know, uh, I don't pay much attention, obviously. So in here is just the bathrooms, but I really love this bar area. Like, it's very interesting. I feel like if you were to, as I said, go on vacation, this would be so cute for your sim to take little photos. And I really love the pool area and how it overlooks the world and the trees and stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's see. Let's go ahead and close this. And we looked at a bar, we looked at a lounge, we've looked, or I guess a dance club technically. So this is the Nectary, which is also very, very nice. Um, and then if you go down to the, I think if you go down to the very bottom, it should have, oh, does it not? I guess you can't make nectar, you can only purchase it, which is really interesting. But I feel like me personally, I would probably add in a thing so that we could be able to make nectar. But this is just a place that you can actually purchase nectar. And what is right here? I want to see what's going on here. This is called Oceanic. So let's see. Oh! Oh! I am so glad I clicked on this. Wow! Oh, this is cool. So this is like a nightclub. Oh, wow. This is so cool. And you can like view into the ocean. Ah, I love this. It is so cool. All right, you guys. Ah, okay, so I think it is time for me to go ahead and end this world overview right on here. Let me know in the comments down below, what was your favorite lot that I showed you guys so far in this particular world? I really was a fan of the bathing pool. That was awesome. The swimming area, that was, that was cute. That was cute. And I also really like this club. Oceanic, I think it's called. Is it a club? Yes, it is. It's a dance club. I really, really like the way that that was set up. I think it is very, very beautiful. And I just, I'm such a huge, huge fan. Um, but yeah, there are so many other things to explore in this world. So many other things to take a look at. Most of the things that I saw were things that I was kind of interested in. And I don't really remember looking at when I was using this world. I don't know. Um, anyways, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And also let me know in the comments down below what you think of the lots and what lot you liked the best. This world is so beautiful, and I would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 because like, I am a huge fan. If you were somebody who has a small computer and can't really deal with too much lag, this would be the world for you. Anyways, you guys, make sure to check the description because I will have the link to this world down below. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you all with another new video bye guys